Gopal, what happens on this front of FATCA and CRS based on a non-individual investor? FATCA and CRS um, require financial institutions, including mutual funds, to capture details of the ultimate beneficiaries, uh, beneficial owners, what, what we call as UBOs of these, these investors. So be it a company or a trust or a partnership firm, what the financial institutions are required to see is uh, one, whether those entities which are investing, whether they have any um, you know, ultimate beneficial owner who is located outside India. So, for example, in case of a company, any person who is holding more than 25% of shares of that particular company is considered as a UBO of that company, ultimate beneficial owner of that company. In, with respect to those ultimate beneficial owners, we have to seek the details of their tax residency and their tax identification number. Just as in case of individuals, we have to seek their tax residency and the tax uh, identification number. Similar to that, in case of entities, we have to seek the UBO's um, tax residency details. And what happens is, if they are found to be res residing in any of those countries like US under FATCA or under CRS in those countries which have signed, uh, entered into the arrangement for CRS, India is bound to exchange information related to those persons with those respective countries. So that is the uh, regulatory requirement uh, with respect to in non-individual investors. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.